Making my time-lapse videos more dynamic, I always wanted to have a motorized camera arm or camera dolly. This is the story on how I challenged myself, designing and creating my own motorized camera dolly, after changing my initial plans and made several modifications. I started by searching on the internet for the various options that I can choose from. My first idea was a parallel arm that had some interesting adjustment options. So I tried to understand how such a mechanism would work. But my first design was a bit overcomplicated. I made some changes to the design. And in order to see if that would work, I made a prototype from 3mm birch plywood. Then I realized that this design could be simplified as well, with less moving parts. I disassembled this prototype and put it in the archive of unwanted designs. The third design was very promising. I made a CNC file for 6mm birch plywood, which I could cut out in the Makerspace de Kaasfabriek cheese factory in Alkmaar, the Netherlands. After the wooden parts were cut out, I went home for sanding and gluing some of the parts together. The remaining parts were printed with my 3D printer from PLA and I used some M4 all thread rod and nuts.
After assembling the camera arm, the result was a bit disappointing. The movement was not smooth and there was a bit too much flex when the camera arm was in its extreme position. So I went back to the drawing board and started a new idea that had crossed my mind from the beginning. Just a simple dolly with a stepper motor. So I grabbed my router bits and a piece of 6mm birch plywood and went to the makerspace again for routing out these parts. Back home I printed the PLA parts and started assembling the camera dolly. I had to make some adjustments before it all fitted together. Then finally I could test if the Arduino connected to the driver for the stepper motor, the rotary encoder and the OLED display worked as I planned. And it worked, so I soldered the components to the PCB board and fitted it on the camera dolly. And if you are wondering why it took me 3 months to make this video, then I can tell you that there is finally some progress in the plans for a new location for the makerspace, the Kaasfabriek in Alkmaar, the Netherlands.
I hope you liked this video. Please let me know what you think. In my next video I will give you an update about the new location and all the work that is involved in order to make it an interesting place. So make sure that you are subscribed. In the meantime I'm making progress in the new makerspace.